Pineapple moonshine? Let me show you how to. Today, on Moonshine How To, we're gonna make this, and I'm your guest star, Justin. Nice to meet you guys. Let's get started. So, on our blog, we have the full printable recipe. If you want it, go visit the blog. And also, today, you can go look at our sister channel and learn how to core your very own pineapple. So this is your recipe. All links will be up, up in the top right corner. Right, 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 yeah, right. So first you'll need one pineapple, ripe, one lemon, washed with our veggie soap, which you can find down in the description. We'll link that down there for you guys. And white lightning or moonshine purchased from your liquor store. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cube our pineapple and we're going to thin slice our lemon off camera and we'll be right back. And we're back. We have all our ingredients. We hope you went to the blog and got the recipe so you can have yours and make this along with us. So we're gonna start. This is sugar in the raw right here. We like to use sugar in the raw. You can substitute it with regular sugar. But we went ahead and pre-measured one fourth cup and we have this here to show you guys that it is one fourth. We did use our OXO measuring cups. We took a small to medium lemon and we cut it up and sliced it in thin slices and divided it into enough to go into each jar. Then we also cored our pineapple and cut it into small chunks to put inside of our moonshine. So now that we've added our lemons, we've divided up into both jars, we're going to add our quarter cup of sugar. Highly recommend using a funnel for this step. Now we're going to take our half measuring cup and we're going to dump a half in each one until we're out of our pineapple slices. So now we're going to take our 750 milliliters of moonshine and this is not a quart. This is 750 which is 24.5 ounces. We're going to fill it up to our 24 on each jar like right in this area and then we're going to go back and forth until it's all gone. Okay, now that we've filled it all the way up to the top, at the bottom of the bands, yeah, it may be a little less pineapple-y, but it'll be a lot more shiny. And that's what we want. Now we're going to put our lids on and we're going to shake. And while I shake, I'm going to read you the recommendations, because I've never made this before, so I'm a little interested myself. So the recommendations, you want to store these in a cool, dark, and dry place. <laughs> you want to shake at least once a day. And then you want to wait from up to one to two weeks. But if you really want that kick and that flavor, six to 12 months. This allows your flavors to mingle and shine with one another. So now we're going to shake it. So while I shake these, be sure to check up here. We're going to have a playlist for our beginners to learn how to use all of the tools and stuff in moonshining. And also, you can learn what to do with moonshine extracts by our sister channel. So. Look up here, hey, right here. Yep, click it. Okay, we're going to shake these and then we'll put them up. Now they're all shaken up, we're gonna go store these. And if you're still here, we appreciate you. We hope you learn something from this channel as we teach you on our journey. And we hope you click the subscribe button. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also hit that bell notification down below so you can get notified every time we upload a video here at Moonshine How To. And also be sure to go over to the blog. The link will be down below. Get your free grain bills, recipes. There's a lot of freebies on there you're gonna wanna get. We'll see you next time. This is Justin. Bye. Shine on!